Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bread Deliverance Ministry. Today, I want to tell you, when your kids tell you they see something in their room, you better pay attention. Check under their bed, check in their closet, check them. Because when they tell you they're seeing ghosts and demons in their rooms, it's not their imagination. Watch these videos to learn more. Let's put on the video here. Let's put on the video. Grandma has caught something quite terrifying in her granddaughter's room. Tori McKenzie is begging for help online after capturing what she describes as a demon standing over her grandchild's bed. Miss McKenzie set up a motion activated camera at her son's house after complaints his two year old daughter Amber was talking to something unseen in the middle of the night. The grandma checked her cameras out days later to find a bone chilling image of a figure standing very close to her sleeping grandchildren with what she described as it having a horn on its head and long claws. The creature is captured standing awkwardly looking upwards just before 3 a.m. Miss McKenzie says when she tried to rid the house of the evil presence by burning oils, she claimed Worst things you could do. Burn oil. And music go see a packet. The grandmother insists the discovery has left her fearing for her grandchildren's lives and that the photo is real and could not be photoshopped because she does not have the technical know-how to change the image. Now pay attention to this one. This was very interesting as well. It is video of the unknown. What? is it is it real and what is it doing there a family in highland michigan believes their house is actually haunted and thinks something is harming their little girl seven action news reporter alan campbell went to the home to see for himself it happened here in this room as 15 month old lily was inside her bed caught on camera something walks in front of her crib catching lily's attention whatever it is the family says it needs to go it's almost like she sees something that we don't. It's an image Heather and Josh say is haunting their home. It was uh, chilling. It was literally a chill down your spine. Like like that what if factor. Like, is this what I just saw? Caught on the couple's nanny cam video a few weeks ago, what appears to be something moving in front of the baby crib. I freaked out. I stopped what I was doing and I ran upstairs and I grabbed my daughter. Heather says this so-called ghost scratched her daughter Lily and attacked her too. It scares us that it could do something else. I mean, there was even an, a morning that I woke up and I had felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. A team of paranormal investigators came in and tried answering That's the worst thing. The questions paranormal investigators don't Dr. solve Spotter problems. Jim says it may be someone who lived in this house before. The story that I was told was the gentleman that- There's no such thing as ghost. Um, so as you can see, there's two videos, one from a grandma and another from a couple where they see demons in their nanny cams <clears throat> and they capture them clearly. And so uh, obviously number one, uh, the grandma is very scared. Uh, the couple number two decided to call a paranormal uh, investigator uh, to come in and, and, and find out what's going on. But the paranormal investigators can solve the problem. So usually when you a children is being tormented or haunted or scared, uh, you need to pay attention. Okay, you need to look in their, you know, you need to believe them. It's not their imagination. And, um, you know, what I usually say is uh, the spiritual condition of a child is a reflection of the spiritual condition of a parent. So if uh, a child is experiencing these things in their home, more than likely the parents need to go through deliverance. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, place it below. Please pay attention to what your children tell you. Don't just blow it off. It's very important that you do so, okay? God bless you. Thank you.